Away with you. Don't let me see you again. Thanks. You won't. Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine, a sedative. What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S-story? There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf Guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom, and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Edda. We couldn't believe our fortune. Thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process. And we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure. And took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Gridley. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. When they smelled blood, well... We could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and... willing. Two nights later she slit our commander's throat and... that was all we saw of her, and of the map of course. The war was ongoing and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once, perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. A wolf leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return but none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way, or another. And? I met the Nilfgaardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley! You live! What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it.
I already have. Come on, let me show you something. Who do I see? Remember me? Corpse man. Remember how I was torn apart bit by bit? Remember what you did with the people of this house? You deceived us! Crimes require punishment, and only retribution can lift the curse. I leave them to you. I need you no more. Let the feast begin, boys! I've brought some Necker remains as proof of... I know what they prove, Witcher. The reward is yours. You got a troll here? Aye, he trolls in the forest by the river. But he's a good fellow. Don't you dare harm him. One of the helpful ones, I see. Does more good than Lurido, and drinks a lot less at that. Repairs the bridge and causes no mischief. Don't take your blades to him, please. I heard you don't want to get rid of the troll. Who'll maintain the bridge when he's gone? Hire some people. Know the cost of a craftsman these days? That idiot troll looks after the bridge for petty tolls, more or less. The bridge is in ruins and the troll's robbing people. Aye, it's because he's hit the bottle. If you could help him stop boozing... I'm a witcher, not a nanny. I'll pay you well. How much? A hundred orens. Two hundred. You're costly, but what the hell? Let him see I place the village's welfare above all else. No. No what? No passage. Give vodka you passage. Do I look like an innkeeper to you? No vodka. No passage. Enough! Don't hit! I'd be good! You're drunk. Vodka good? Head hurt, I. But no pain in brain. Brain pain always comes with a reason. They kill my woman. She good. She cooked meat. Who killed her? Don't know. Miss it on bridge. Go home. No meat smell. Woman dead. Had no head. Guts to drink. In can't go, people that kill. But guts to drink. You're welcome to take liquor instead of coin, but you should repair the bridge. Cannot. Hand shaky. If I find your woman's murderers, will you put aside the booze? You know find none. We'll see. I've got friends here. I'll talk to them. Can I ask you something, Zoltan? Sit down, Geralt, you old goat. Drinking alone is as bad as shitting in company. Another time, maybe. You've been here a while and probably know the local customs. I'm no researcher, but go on, ask away. Who would need a troll's head? Same folks who need a bear's head to hang on the wall, show how plucky they are. A peasant with a troll's head in his wall can raise many scouts. Thanks. Where are you off to? Sightseeing. Round the houses of Lobenden. You found me. Splendid. I dug through my coffers and happened on something you could find useful. I don't need it, but a monster slayer just might. Thanks. Psst. Whitehead one. I have an offer for you. Greetings, Whitehead one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain formula. I'm no herbalist. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. Sounds good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly... Popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. 
The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. Are you a witcher? I am. You've got to do something about that filthy business. The crook selling the poison is going unpunished. I think he's just selling incense. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like Fistech. You must shut down that shop. Close the shop and the citizens of Flotsam will reward you handsomely. I'll talk to the trader. Welcome to my modest shop. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward, and I keep my secret. If I don't get the real formula by the count of five, you'll be greeting one of the two friends I carry on my back. One. Two. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. Three. All right, wait. I'll give it to you. Here. Happy? They say one of your scents is a strong drug. A drug here? Never heard such nonsense. A lady told me it works just like Fistech. Perhaps everything works like Fistech on that lady. I know there's something unusual about it. All right. I admit it. I've traded in incense for years. It was an ordinary scent. How could I know it would have such an effect on people? Anyway, I can't ban them from using it. Lorito and I will see you tomorrow. All right then. I'll close the shop. But don't tell anyone. I, I beg you. I see you've done it. Thank you on behalf of all Flotsam. Here's your award. How did it go? Did you get the formula? I did, but I'm not going to give it to you. We'll meet again, smart arms. A female troll's head. Where do you get that head? I bought it. Cost me a fortune, but it was worth it. No one else in Lobinden's got a troll's head. Who'd you buy it from? Dimitri. Who else would dare trap a troll in its very own den? Where can I find this Dimitri? That I don't know, but you'll find his mates carousing at the inn in the evening. I'd like to buy that head from you. No way! The head's mine, you smelly swine. I'll give you a good price, unless you'd prefer to trade. Hmm. We could roll some dice for it, provided you make it worth my while. Thanks. That was helpful. You're good. Here's your coin. I want the she-troll's head. Do you work for Dimitri? Who's asking? Because you see, friend, I'm starting to find this a mite confusing. You here at the bidding of that old rag, the Fistech boys or Laredo. And be straight with me. I heard you hunted down a troll. None of your ploughing business. Heard of the Butcher of Blaviken? Who hasn't? You say you can gut a man with a single cup? Yeah, I can. And if you don't tell me where I can find Dimitri, I'll splash your guts on the walls. Steady. Start talking. Dimitri hangs around the cemetery near that stinking village. See? You can be nice. All you need to do is try. We do all know that's no squirrel, but an ordinary elf. He won't know shit. Ears pointy, check. We'll dress the corpse in green and collect an even hundred. Heard Milena makes more than that. I guess robbing the soldier is better business than robbing elves. I'll not hear of that whore again, got it? Treacherous rag. She'll get what she deserves. Won't be long now. Couldn't satisfy her, eh? Can't fault the girl for being ambitious. And the stiff on the ground is who? Some spy from Vizima, soon to be our squirrel's grave mate. Laredo told me to get rid of him, and since we've got this vacancy in the boneyard, thought I might do our friend a small favour. 
You don't look like no spy. They never do once they're dead. Oh, almost forgot. Might pay to search him good and thorough before we plant him in the dirt. You, Dimitri? Why the fuck do you want to know? The troll sends his regards. Kill him! No witnesses! Give vodka a dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight's shit. Why, Buck? I found your wife's head. My woman, I not forget. I give reward, but drink well, till you give me kill man's head. I punished your wife's murderers. Mine? You'll find what's left of them at the cemetery. I find. Will you fix the bridge? Trolls true. Make sure your hands are steady when you do it. No drink more. Head in peace. You owe me two hundred orans. You'll get one hundred. Listen, I made deals with you and the troll. He kept his word. You're trying not to. I haven't the coin. Sure you don't want to look a little harder? What if I don't find any? Then I'll look myself. This is robbery. Here, I hope you choke on it. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. A ram stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler. Straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What else? The Kaelin's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Osmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Kaelin. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you. Any progress? Triss claims the Karen was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. I never expected to see you at Laredo's. Whereas I was sure you would show up there. The Commandant is terribly jealous about his small trading post. Anyone of import is summoned to hear him out sooner rather than later. What did he want from you? That is my concern, certainly none of yours. We're not a tandem, Geralt. We'll kill the Kran together, but that is all. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kran's are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land.
take that. did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you all right? The beast got me a couple of times. I've heard you've been in more dire situations. I wonder, are the stories about you true? What stories? If you think I'm going to repeat some of the legends circulating about you, you're deeply mistaken. What now? I must harvest the most valuable ingredients while the corpse is fresh. I'd prefer to get the entire carcass to my laboratory and strip it down to the bone, but that would be a waste of power and simply too much work. I shall take only... What have you heard about me? A number of things. You won't talk about them? I've no time now. The fresher the ingredients I collect, the higher the price I'll get. Sorry. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Job done. The Kirin's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Skoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kirin Epesnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. Listen, you know how to remove a tattoo? I thought you looked different. Didn't put my finger on it, though. Hmm. <laughs> Think it looks all right? What's it all? A naked lady brandishing a sword? Geralt. All right, you can stop now. 
<laughs> hey, I didn't give you that tattoo. There's this mixture that cleanses the tissue just beneath your skin. And to make it, I'll need green mold, white myrtle petals, and wolf's aloe. <laughs> well, I'm off to hunt down some herbs. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to Dandelion. I'm going to stop laughing. <laughs> no, I can't. What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Laredo's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the accent sign to call him. 